Hi, in today's video, I want to talk about something um, related to communication. Okay, so basically, when you're working in a company and you will have um, several interactions with your boss, and because I've been saying boss a lot of time, I want you to feel like someone who's bossing you around. So, when I say boss, basically, I mean either your manager or someone you're um, reporting to, someone who's managing you in a way. So, boss doesn't necessarily mean someone who's bossing you around, it's just someone who's um, in charge of like uh, delivering the work that you and the rest of the team do to whoever owns the company or who's hiring you. Okay, so with that out of the way, now communicating with your manager is very important. And there's several ways that you can communicate ideas or something that's really bothering you to your manager. Okay, so one such reason why you might want to um, communicate with your manager is when you feel like you can't achieve a task. So sometimes you'll be given a job to do by your manager, and because we're in the IT world, we're all really bad at um, specifying the time needed to do something. And what do I mean by that? So you just think right now when was the last time you properly estimated a piece of work that needed to be done um, so you've been given a job to do and you said okay it's gonna take a day or two and then it ends up taking a week so that's not necessarily because you're a bad programmer but it's just how things work sometimes once in a while occasionally you might do it even in under um, in less time or maybe just about the same time that you said you would but most of the times that is not the case it just goes a little bit over the designated time so as you go progress you will get better at estimating and um, actually I've heard a rule of thumb or an, um, someone once said that if you think that you will do something at a certain time double or triple that amount of time and that's actually how long you will take to do it and I've quite found that to be true most of the time so um, so yeah just don't think you're a bad programmer tell your boss um if um something is going to go over the deadline and i'm sure he will be reasonable most of the times um he'll be reasonable and you'll make adjustments either cut down on features or get someone else in to help you to achieve that at the time given okay so secondly is sometimes you may be working at a company and you may deserve a raise and what i mean by that is um because you've been at there for a certain amount of time um, you may feel like your boss automatically knows or will just say hey I'm going to promote you I'm going to give you a raise sometimes you have to ask for it I mean of course don't be rude and go and say um, I need to get paid right now but just talk to him because I have made the mistake in my first job of um, not asking for a raise and what I was paying, getting paid was um, ridiculous, I mean, compared to the industry standard. But um, I don't know, for some strange reason, I just felt like my manager had to come up to me and say, I'm going to give you a raise. And most of the times, they don't. And it's not because they don't want to give you, but they may not feel the same way as you do. So try to explain to them why you feel you need a raise. Of course, make, make sure you have good reasons. I mean, I'm sure they're reasonable as well. They want to keep you around. That's why they hired you in the first place. So it's a give and take situation. Okay, so thirdly, um, you might have a different way of doing something. Okay, so your manager might say, okay, these are the steps that we need to achieve this piece of problem, but you might not necessarily agree with that. And that's totally fine. Um, everyone has their way of thinking about a solution. So just walk up to them um, and showcase your idea and make sure you have good backings as to why it has to be done that way. Um, sometimes also just be um, ready to be shunned down or just be ready for him to say no because he's obviously at the end of the day is your manager so um, the final say is up to him so yeah if you have ideas go up to your boss just make sure you don't have too many changing ideas because then it might seem like you're the guy who always says no I'm gonna do it my way okay have a right balance between the two and fourthly sometimes you may feel like um, you want to work in a different part of the company um, not necessarily a drastically different part let's say you are um, a web developer sometimes you may want to do some back-end work and it's totally fine because um, a front-end dev um, work will sometimes um, into a conflict or well I don't want to use the word conflict but it may um, dive into the zone of a back-end developer and you may realize that hey I do enjoy this back-end work so what I mean by back-end is stuff like PHP Ruby on Rails um, Java and um, Python work so that's not necessarily the work of a front-end developer 
but sometimes you may touch on there and you find that you enjoy it so I mean just tell your boss it's not it's nothing wrong with asking um, he might even have had the plan to put you there but never knew that you enjoyed working there so tell him you want to switch there and um, sometimes he may even say yeah just um, I do that and hire someone else to work in your role so uh, but do that when you've been in a company for some time okay I, I don't want to give specific dates um, but if I am forced to I'll say maybe if you've been there for almost a year or two years then uh, tell them that but just don't go there the first week um, you've been hired as a front-end dev and say I want to do back-end work because um, that might not sound nice they might sound like you actually tricked him to, into getting into the company then say you want to do something different okay and um last but not the least um this is something that i see a lot of people doing and sometimes they may have a good reason for it but if you are in good terms with your boss and you let's say you've been at, a, at the company for 10 years it's only natural that you want you've been approached by other companies or you actually want to change scenes maybe you want to try a different city or a different job um just make sure you tell your boss just sit him down he's a human being have coffee with him or maybe he's in the um kitchen or something or is in his office that's usually the best place say hi and just walk in there and tell him um that you're resigning but uh give him reasonable time it may be in your clause um for your contract as well but the longer you give him to find someone else to replace you the better it normally is and usually if you leave the company and in a good um term um and you find that you don't like the next job you're going to he may even let you come back and work there because you you've left there in a good way and um, the mistake a lot of people do or um, people may tend to do is just um, give maybe short notice of two weeks and um, two weeks is might be what's in your contract clause of notice but um, to be honest it's not enough to find someone else um, at least someone good so give him at least a month or two um that notice that you're living so he can find someone else to replace you okay so that's it guys for this um uh, video i hope that was helpful and uh, yeah as usual if you have any comments or if you have any suggestions as to what videos you want to do or any questions based on this please let me know in the comments below and i thank you for watching i will see you soon in the next sunday cheers bye bye